you to go through the books from this box from Candlewick Press, distributed by Penguin Random House. It came September 2020, and it is a bonanza of beautiful books. Um, so this is the this is my second video now, um, and I think it might take three or four to complete it. Complete this box. So this is a board book, Little Owl's Bedtime, by Carl Newson, illustrated by Miggy Blanco. Nosy Crow, which is an imprint of Candlewick Press. And um, so this is just more of a story about Little Owl. And everyone is sleeping, but the owl is awake. So it's kind of like a bedtime story. And yeah, so it's a little bit about um, the animal who's nocturnal um, and everyone else who is sleeping. And, you know, she gets to see the sunrise. So that looks very sweet. The next one is, oh, this one is, yeah, I've heard a lot about it because this is by Meg Bedina. I think it's her first picture book, um, illustrated by Sonia S Sanchez and Meg Medina. I think her first book she wrote for Candlewick Press was the Newbery winner. Um, uh, well, I'm blinking on the title. Um, but this one, looks like a picture book about a uh, best friend moving away. And I actually have a book list for that, so I'll definitely add it to that. And yep, they're best friends. And you know, the difficulty of transitions, especially one when your best friend moves away. And, you know, these illustrations remind me a little bit of um, Ezra Keats, kind of. Ezra Jack Keats. I mean, there's a real like timelessness and encapsulating, you know, kind of children at play. Um, I don't know, it's giving me that vibe, which is like a really beautiful illustration style. Um, yeah, so look forward to that one. Oh, so Meg Medina's was Mercy Suarez. Um, yeah, I'll put the link in the description box. Mercy Suarez, something, something. Oh, and here we have a book already for Hanukkah. It is The Hanukkah Magic of Nate Gad Gadol by Arthur A. Levine, illustrated by Kevin Hawks. And um, I feel like Kevin Hawks is a, a popular... Um, children's book writer and illustrator and so here he illustrated Library Lion which everyone knows I think and Westlandia which is also like a really really popular book and so yeah I guess it's not too early for Hanukkah books um, and this one is about um, someone who has magic and it's almost like the loaves and fishes idea but in this case, it's with chocolate. And um, this book has, um, the illustrations have this um, gold flex into it. So it's almost like, I don't know if it's embossed, but every page has this gold detail. It's almost like overlaid onto the page. So it like sparkles. I don't know, can you see that? So that is, Kind of a beautiful and expensive detail. Um, yeah, this looks like a like an instant classic for a Hanukkah story. And here you have even um, Hanukkah meets Christmas with uh, Nate Godel running into Santa Claus. So yeah, in I'm interested to read this story. Looks great. Um, the next one is. A sequel to Not Norman, a goldfish story. So this is Norman, One Amazing Goldfish by Kelly Bennett, illustrated by Noah Z. Jones. And um, like Not Norman, I feel like that was also a book that got just a lot of um, people reading. So Norman is a amazing goldfish and um, he gets stage fright though because he's, he's known for his ability to perform tricks, but then when he's on the spot, you know, he's uh, not feeling, not feeling it. 
Um, yeah, so a sequel to a popular book. I think that will be, anyone who is a not Mormon fan will be excited. Um, and now we have another Christmas book to go with our Hanukkah, Dinosaur Christmas by Penny Dale. So combining dinosaurs, which is always popular in my house. Um, and so I don't know, I feel like this should rhyme. I don't know if it does though. Um, so far it's not rhyming. It's almost like written in, um, in verse. Um, but not, not exactly rhyming. So looks like a lot of dinosaurs get involved with um, Santa to help with the sleigh. And you have, you know, sort of the juxtaposition of some very popular uh, things. You got dinosaurs, you have Christmas and Santa and presents, and now you have all kinds of vehicles, cool vehicles, hovercrafts, uh, snowmobiles, ATVs. Um, yeah, so this is going to be popular. I think kids who like um, uh, trucks and dinosaurs um, who celebrate Christmas, I think they'll be excited to read that one. Um, the next one is Timothy Catman's Superhero Graham, illustrated by Joe Berger. And I feel like there's, this is a, like a sequel or a part of the series. I feel like there was another superhero um, book I feel like I've seen of theirs. Um, oh yeah, so there is Superhero Dad, Superhero Mom, and now we're kind of going through the family tree. And here we have Grandmother, and she is a person of color. And there's just a lot of, um, you know, probably a celebration of grandmothers, which is awesome. Looks fun and um, perfect to uh, for grandmothers to gift to their children or grandchildren or to read together. Okay, we'll do one more and then I will conclude this and see if we can do the rest in two more. Or maybe one more. Um, so this is Peekaboo Apple. And so there was another one in the first batch. Peekaboo, let me get that one. Peekaboo Farm. Peekaboo Farm and Peekaboo Apple here. They both have these really great sliding um, interactive uh, fun, you know, sort of uh, fun things. And it says it has a mirror. And you know, I actually didn't find the mirror in the first one. I think I just, uh, oh, that's why I didn't slide it out. Yeah, so that's fun. The peekaboo thing is like you kind of go through all the different, you know, finding things and then you get a, the baby gets to see themselves. So that is super fun. Yeah, I love that. I love that there's a mirror. Babies do love to see themselves. All right. So again, thank you to Candlewick Press um, and Nosy Crow for all these books and to Penguin Random House for sending them to me. Thank you all for watching. And um, yeah, we'll do one or two more and we'll finish this box.